Connell, first of all, it's great. Um, up, up at York, fantastic performance, great mm-hmm. win. How, how important was that and what's that done for you, especially given the the disappointment of the defeat the week before at Dorking, to go and put in a performance at, at that level um, and, and, and get three points and three goals like that? Yeah, obviously it was a good result. I think it was important for us to obviously bounce back quickly um, from the Dorking defeat. It was a bit of a... You know, one where you look back and you think, oh, you know, it's one of them games where it could have gone either way. And for us, we we pushed to try and win the game. And maybe looking back, you think to yourself, well, if it comes, it comes, but we don't lose the game um, kind of thing. So uh, for the senior lads that were on the pitch, maybe that was a case of maybe controlling it a little bit better than what we did. But uh, but yeah, the reaction to the, what happened there against Dorking the, the following week against York was, was just a great show of character from the lads. And... You know, we knew we had to work hard throughout the week to to bounce back, and it's exactly what we did. Interesting, interesting. We talk about the hard work in the week. A few players have mentioned mm-hmm. the the amount of hard work. You can see the energy levels then in a performance mm-hmm. like that on Saturday. You can see it, you know, yeah. from the side watching on. You can see the energy levels, but that's all down to what you're doing in the week, is it? Well, what are you doing to to get that kind of energy out of everybody from for the full ninety minutes on a Saturday? Yeah, the, the training intensity is through the roof this season. You know. Uh, we, we we look and feel like a different animal this year from previous years. Um, <clears throat> we work really intense on a Tuesday and Wednesday when we haven't got a game. Um, to the point of like what you'd be working like in a in a match on a Saturday or a Tuesday night. So uh, I think it's just the application from the lads and buying into what you know the gaff has brought into the club of of a mentality of no one's going to work harder than us. If we want to go on and, and do and achieve what we want to achieve this season, you know, it, it starts on the training pitch and in the classroom watching the footage and stuff like that. So it it's always been for me a bare minimum to, to come into training and, and train and give everything every day. Um understandably at times, you know, lads might be feeling a little bit here or a little bit there and you have to take your foot off the pedal and manage your body. But, you know, on a day to day basis it's it's nothing but a hundred percent given in training and anything less is just not good enough. As I say, you could see it in, in the performance. You could see that the energy levels were, were huge in, in that game. But I wonder really whether the benefits of that largely are longer term, aren't they? Towards the end of the season, if you're mm. building up fitness stamina, that's where you're going to be able to stand out maybe January, February onwards, do you think? Yeah, naturally, I think, uh, you know, the, the harder you work in training, you know, we're built for this, you know, as professional athletes, you know, you, you, you should be built to be able to withstand this type of uh, training load and, and it's only going to stand us, you know, further down the line, and not even just further down the season. Later on in games, um, you know, we are quite a possession-built team, and we look after the ball well, and we move teams. So, if we're working at this level, say here, with the ball, imagine what they're working at without the ball. You know, they're working twice as hard to try and get it back. So, you know, everything's done for a purpose. Everything's, you know, planned meticulously on what we're trying to do and what we're trying to achieve. So. And I think over the last, well, the start of the season, especially, you can see that that's starting to come into shape now. On a personal note, how's it been to be back back in the side last last few matches? Yeah, it's been brilliant. Like I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. You know, I think if you ask any professional footballer, the worst thing about being being one is is being injured. You know, it's a very lonely and dark place at times, and you know you're in a gym on your own and you know windows, and you feel a little bit segregated from the group at times, but. Uh, it's just all about mental ability to get your head down and work hard day in, day out. It's a little bit like Groundhog Day, it's the same stuff, but it's the stuff that's going to get you back as quick as possible. And, you know, I, I, I worked exceptionally hard when I was injured, um, you know, behind closed doors and stuff. So I knew when I'd come back that I'd be able to step in and, and, and play my part. You know, it obviously came around a little bit quicker than what we would have thought of with uh, injuries to, you know, Brins had a little bit of a knock, Aiden's been out for a little while now and I'm bad so you know it's it's one of them ones where you know sometimes you just got to get chucked in the deep end and, and go from there but I feel like I've got myself up to a point now where you know I'm match fit and you know I felt on Saturday against York back to my my best physically Um so yeah it's it's just one of the things where you have to dig deep you know I've got to take my hat off to the likes of Craig the head of medical you know he did a brilliant job with me Um was always there you know it's, it's just as hard mentally as physically when you're injured so you know big hats off to him and the likes of Ian Hutton as well who's you know these these type of people in the staff get us physically and mentally to the top of our game to be able to perform on a Saturday so you know hats off to the staff behind the scenes as well.
<clears throat> yeah, fantastic. I, it, it's been interesting talking to a few of the players this season. They talked about how things have changed under under the new head coach and mm-hmm. the number of goals that the team's scoring and the number of goals McCauley particularly scoring has been getting all the mm-hmm. headlines. But I wonder from a, a defensive point of view, what what's changed or, or what you're making of, uh, of how that's working. I saw you carrying the ball out of defence mm. an awful lot. Maybe you've got a bit of freedom to do that at the moment. I saw you doing a couple of times. I thought you might have a shot at one point, actually. You've got to within about 35 yards. We, we, but... get, we get close and we get told, just give it to Maka. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. But I do, I do just wonder from that defensive point of view, because everything's talk, everybody's talking about the goals at the other end of the pitch. So mm-hmm. what's what's changed or what was working in defence for you? Um, obviously, when the gaffer came in, you know, fresh ideas, um, different things and I think it's very much uh, a thing of you know we we attack without the ball and we defend when we've got it and um, we make sure we're in positions when we do turn over the ball that we're in good positions to win it back straight away um, and when we're without the ball we set ourselves up so when we win it we can go and count very quickly and, and move forward with, um, with attacking play but you know the gaffer's philosophy is really good he's, he's come in and he, you know, I've been playing professionally now for 13 years, nearly 14 years. So there's ideas that he's brought to the table that are, are fresh that I haven't even heard of, um, especially in defensive terms of things and the way we're setting up to to stop teams playing and, and regain the ball. So um, it's been a breath of fresh air. Like you say, the gaffers come in. I think we all know how good he is te- uh, on the technical and tactical side of things. But a big thing for me was that, you know, the gaffers brought in a very good man management style as well. Um, I think in the modern game, I think with a head coach or manager, I think it's been forgotten about that side of of that, you know, the man management side of players. He treats everyone individually. Um, he works hard with the lads individually, not just on a professional level, but a personal level as well. And for me, that's a big thing because you want to run through a brick wall for your manager. You want to, you know, and him and, and Ryan have come in and, and give the lads that um, personal touch. He trusts us, you know. Um, he's honest with us, and uh, he's just an all-round good, good character. Like so, it's, I think that's important as well.